Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team, here with another video for The Division. This is going to be a my build video for all the named enemies I fight with. So anytime I go out and fight a named enemy or look for named enemies, I use this build. And because we're right in the middle of the GE Salt, I thought it might be helpful. You guys see how you can get this done just the fastest way possible. I can't think of a faster way to do all the named guys in the open world, so this is the build I use. Gonna go through this pretty quick because... Uh, it's not like a terribly specific build video. All you really have to know is I use a tactician's build and I max out my skill power and electronics as much as possible. Pretty easy to follow. Now the one particular thing that you might not know about uh, your damage output with skills is that your weapon attributes, your weapon talents, actually apply to your skills as well. So like this particular one has destructive. So if I want to break down armor a little bit easier, I would just equip this weapon as I'm using my skills. And for the named guys, I use a SA-58 that has Ferocious. Now, they're on the free talents because I wouldn't be able to unlock them otherwise, because I'd need more firearms and stamina. So try and find one with, you know, with it as its free talent. But uh, damage to elite, nam elite and named enemies is increased by 10%. Super effective. You'll see in the gameplay... Where we just we we just melt name guys, and since that's what this build's all about, that's what you want to pick up. And again, this is built just for that. I don't do use it for anything else. I use it just for hunting name guys, and it's super quick. So yeah, for right now it's a four piece tech. When the classified gear comes out, I'll probably change it to a six piece. I'm using an inventive backpack to get a little bit more skill power when your health is full because. We're not going to be engaging too much with these enemies, so we don't really have to worry about our health dropping ever. So that's where we're going with this. It's rolled for skill power. And I'm also using a Barrett's Bulletproof Chest Piece, because no skills on cooldown increases the skill power at 10%. Now, another thing you need to realize is if you use a skill, it doesn't. most of the time it doesn't go on cooldown until, it's, until the skill is done or completed. Unless you're throwing like a turret or you're doing a sticky bomb, then they actually go on cooldown a second you use them. But we'll be using uh, sticky bombs and the seeker mind. So like if you throw the seeker mind out, it doesn't start cooldown until after it's completed. So you'll still have that skill power boost right, right up until it's done. So keep that in mind. But that's why we're using the Barrett's chest piece. And again, we're not really worried about the attributes and everything else that don't apply to our skills. So I do use a lot of skill haste in this particular build, and I got some damage to elites as well. You can see here, enemy armor damage, damage to elites on the mask. Knee pads have damage to elites and more skill power. The chest piece has uh, skill haste, exotic damage resilience, which is kind of irrelevant. Like I said, we're just using this for our skills. More skill power on the backpack. Uh, more skill haste. And a little bit of health and kill, which you don't really need because, again, we're not going to be engaging. And, again, this build is just for named enemies in the open world. And then we have more skill haste on our holster. So, yeah, like I said, this is going to... If you use this build, this will be literally the fastest way. I can't think of another fast way to kill named enemies in the open world. This is the build, and let's go over the... Skills. We're using sticky bomb damage. Now all of the modifiers, let me before I forget, all the modifiers are going to be electronic skill power. And then the, all the performance mods are going to be sticky bomb damage. Because we're going to get the most out of that sticky bomb as much as we can. Now because we're spec so far into electronics and skill power, our damage is pretty high. 1.4 million on the sticky bomb. That doesn't include the damage we get from ferocious talent, the 10% extra, and it doesn't include... Uh, the 10% you get from your Barrett's Bulletproof chest piece. So we're getting a little bit more every time we use it too. So just keep that in mind. And also our Seeker Mines, the cluster, mo cluster Mines are super powerful too. And they do let off a ton of bleed. So keep that in mind too. So again, we're going to be using these two skills and that's pretty much it. We're just going to approach these guys and I'll show you in the gameplay. We approach them. I'll show you the approach every time. It's super quick. Most of the time, they're just one shot with the sticky bomb. Sometimes the heavier ones, like the light machine gunners, take a couple of uh, sticky bomb shots. But most of the time, they just go—they just get vaporized. It's pretty awesome. 
But again, the idea is we want to kill these guys as fast as possible. We're not trying to sit and linger because it takes time. And when you're doing global event assault, you want to get as many, you know, global event credits as you can, as fast as you can. So this will make it as fast as possible. Just so you can take a look at the talents, use Demolition Expert, of course, because the explosive damage. Same with Chain Reaction. We're using the Shrapnel because we will be causing a lot of bleed. And then Combat Medic just because there really is no other perk that we can do to help our explosive damage. So that's what we're doing. Now we could do something like Critical Save, but we're not, we're not taking any damage. And so these other talents don't really apply. We don't really have to worry about it. And we don't have to do something like tech support because we don't need our, we don't need our skills to last any longer because they, you know, they're pretty much instant anyway. All right, let's get into some gameplay. Now with my build videos, I usually do tips that to, to help you use the build a little bit better, but this one's pretty self-explanatory. You don't really need any tips. You just shoot the sticky at people and you throw the seeker at people and it takes them out. So I don't know what else I can really tell you except uh, sticky bomb is super effective. You can stick it to the actual person, the actual named enemy if you want. Uh, sometimes they try and throw it off and very seldom are they successful. They can usually get it off themselves, but they can't get it away from themselves in time. So you'll see on a couple of these, like this guy, Soretto, he just doesn't even try to take it off. He just takes it. But on a couple of them, like Erskine, he gets it off eventually, but it's still within the radius of him getting hit. And it does devastating damage. If they can get it off and it's in the air near them, it does even more damage. So you'll see on this uh, next couple ones, you'll see skin he just takes it it's, it does ends up doing six million plus damage like that right there was 1.7 million and it's it's just even, for some reason it's just even more devastating when it goes off in front of their face rather than on their back or their leg or whatever so this guy you can see strings he's a light machine gunner usually a little bit tougher and you can see him take he just goes right down I think it says like 2.6 million for that one particular hit. So it's like the, the amount varies, but it's always at least 1.7 million for each hit. But you'll see right now with this next guy, Erskine. And you can pause this if you want, but right now you're gonna see 6.0, 6 point, six million fifty nine thousand hit points in just that one shot. Pretty ridiculous. But that's how effective the sticky bomb can be. And then the seeker mine takes out all the other ads. That's the other thing you gotta notice. It's like all these named guys always roll with a group. And that's what the seeker mines are for, is to take out the group. But then if you get a good shot on like this one, you wait till they're grouped up, and you detonate, and it takes them all out all at once. So that's ideal. You wanna Again, you're trying to get these global event credits. You want to get these guys down as fast as possible. So you just try and group them up. Sometimes you can't, like in this particular situation, there's two spread out. So I just get the sticky on them. Seeker goes out. Cleans up all the little guys so I don't have to worry about them. So I'm just left with the main named guy, the reason I'm even here. Now, I could have started shooting at him and probably taking him out, but what's the fun of that, dude? It's way more fun just to shoot a sticky on his face and watch him just get dropped. 1.8 million on that one. And some of the guys, like this next guy, 5 he just doesn't have as much hit points for some reason. He just goes down with, you know, 2 point something million right there. But that, again, that's the point of this build. You're just trying to clean these guys up as fast as possible. You don't want to sit there and linger and have to chase one of the lower NPCs around. You just want to get them down so you can move on to the next guy. 2.1 million. Seekers out, take them down, done. I'm going to let the rest of these play out, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
There it is, guys. My fastest way to kill named enemies build. Just straight devastation with that sticky bomb and the bleed from those seeker mines are just ridiculous. But yeah, make sure. I mean, this is literally just for those named enemies. Really nothing else. I mean, you could try it and other things like missions or whatever. And it's effective. But remember, you're kind of a glass cannon with that. With all that uh, tech. But anyways, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from RUGaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions or you want to give us any feedback. It's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!